Hi everybody, it's author Claudette Melanson. I'm here to do June's Keto Crate, which I just got today. I'm on the ball, I'm getting this one done. I'm just gonna get my other videos posted. Um, yeah, so let's crack this Keto cake Crate open. I don't wanna make you guys sit around for waiting for me to do stuff. So, just gonna cut this keto crate open. This is for June again. Um, and here we have our lovely, um, I love the keto crate boxes. They have all kinds of inspirational messages on here about healthy eating. Um, so whenever you get your keto crate, every time I get mine, I'm really excited. There's always kind of all kinds of healthy snacking products in here. And I've been doing so much better with my diet. I've lost a little bit more weight um, because I've been eating keto and not snacking on bad stuff because it really helps when you eat the good stuff because it shows you what kind of alternatives you have. For those who are new to keto, it is low carb eating, but it's high healthy fats. Um, and that includes saturated fats, which are really good for you, like butter and animal fats and things like that. And uh, it's moderate protein and then um, no sugar, no grain. I try not to eat sugar or grain anyway. I don't eat gluten. Um, but yeah, here's some stuff in the keto crate. It looks like there's a coupon for 15% off this snack that I'm going to find. And uh, here we have our informational sheet. I love these. Like, you get one with every keto crate and it tells you um, these are really good to keep. Because then if you find something you like, you can refer back to the sheet and it has recipes. And it has coupons sometimes. Um, so this is telling us everything that's in the keto crate and there are some recipes on there. It's really nice. I love that they include that. The whole keto crate is put together so professionally. Um, here is the first coupon is for these protein, protein chips. Um, these are non-GMO, vegan, they're pea protein, zesty nacho flavor. And that's really good for vegan people. Um, I am not vegan. I'm gluten free. I don't eat soy. Um, if it's GMO soy, I really won't eat it. But um, I do like meat. I, I wish I could go vegetarian. I, I've said before, I tried one time in college and I got really sick. Um, I think I need protein, but um, if you are vegan, that's gonna be a really good option for you. If you're vegetarian, you could eat this just the cheese. I have had just the cheese before. These are cheese snacks, um, and it's made out of 100% cheese. This is Wisconsin cheddar, which is one of my favorites. I know that I like these. Cheese is one of my favorite foods, so this is going to be really awesome. Um, here is a brand called Fat Snacks. These are chocolate chip cookies, low-carb, sugar-free, and keto. These look really good. I love it when they have these... Um, healthy goodies in there. These have almond flour, butter, um, I just want to see what there is. They're sweetened with erythritol uh, and it says it's non-GMO non erythritol and stevia. Um, there's organic soy lecithin in there. I don't like to eat soy because um, it will work on a woman's hormones and there's also a personal reason why I don't like to eat soy. Um, there's a thing that it aggravates for me. Um, but if it's organic soy, I'll have a little bit. But yeah, these look great. I love chocolate chip cookies. It's really nice to be able to eat them again because whenever I first started doing um, no sugar and grain free, uh, I just never had any treats. And that was a little bit hard. I think this is green tea. It looks like a tea bag. It has a tea bag on the package. Lime and ginger. This has got to be a tea. Um, Sari Songket. That looks like the brand. That's the wrapper right there. I'm not a huge tea drinker. I'm a coffee lover, but I'm going to give it a try. Of course, I always try anything in the keto crate. Um, except olives. I'm sorry, I don't like olives. Uh, just so I can let people know what it's like. Okay, this is... These are probiotics. I bet you could stir them into your water. It's apple cider vinegar, cayenne, cinnamon, ginger, lemon probiotics. And all that stuff is good for you. Everything that's on this label. That looks really interesting. I could take that to work and stir it into my water. It'll make the water more interesting. And I love spicy. Anything spicy is my favorite. 
and probiotics are always good. It's good to have good gut health. Your health actually starts in your gut. Wow, this looks like a piece of bacon. It is a piece of bacon. This is uncured hickory smoked bacon. I guess if you just want to, it's not just for uh, breakfast anymore. If you're out and you want a bacon snack, you're gonna take this with you. I mean, it's accessible, like the packaging is, is for convenience, right? Uh, it's uncured hickory smoked bacon, no nitrates or nitrites, no sugar added, it's paleo friendly, no gluten, no MSG, no lactose. This looks really good and I love bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? If you're vegan, sorry. Oh, here we have another bottle. You always have, whenever you have the bubble wrap or the uh, white paper, you know you're going to have a bottle of something good in here. Here is some barbecue sauce, sweet and smoky. Um, made by Alterna Sweets. It's naturally sweetened with stevia. Stevia leaf is a natural sweetener. We don't use artificial sweeteners in my house. We only use xylitol, erythritol, and um, and stevia. I don't like stevia. I've never liked stevia as much because it tends to be bitter, but they tend to mix it with erythritol or other sweeteners and it makes it taste a lot better. I'm always looking for healthier barbecue sauces because um, there are so many prepared sauces that have corn syrup. We don't eat any of that. It's GMO corn for one thing, and uh, corn syrup is really hard on your liver. Um, it just it causes diabetes. It's, it's just so bad for you, and they put it in everything. Um, but this looks like it has tomato paste, blackstrap molasses, uh, vinegar, non-GMO erythritol. So it has erythritol again. Oh, it has butter in it. That is interesting. I bet that makes it taste really creamy and good. I love fat. Fat is better than sugar. Um, you give me a sugar-free vanilla pudding or something like that, anything creamy, I'd much rather have that than a sugary snack. Um, so this should be really good. Uh, there's only four grams of net carbs per serving, and a serving is two tablespoons. So that is a pretty good serving. Anxious to try that. Okay, oh, that's different. Have you ever seen an individually uh, individually packaged dill pickle? Because here's one right here. That would be something cool. Like, it, I would never think to take a pickle as a snack. Unless you cut it up and put it in a container, this is easy to grab. Um, it's fat-free. Uh, I like fat, so that doesn't really appeal, but it's good. Um, it's low calorie, low carb, gluten free. Those are the important things. Um, it's just cucumber, water, salt, vinegar, uh, potassium sorbate to prevent spoilage. So there are some um, preservatives in there, but I don't see anything really horrible. Dill pickle, that's pretty cool. Never saw one packaged like that. Okay, and here we have Legendary Foods. Legendary Foods, they put uh, they put some stuff in past keto crates. Everything I've tried so far has been really good. Um, these are tangy ranch seasoned almonds. Ranch flavor, I love too. It goes right along with my love of creamy stuff like dressings. Um, let's see, it looks like it's just almonds. And then the uh, lots of flavorings and stuff like that but this looks really good. There's no sugar added. Really eager to try those. Nuts are a great snack whenever you're doing uh, keto. Uh, looks like we have another tea. Yeah, this is a, it's an herb bag. It's a, actually an herb bag. I might have to write, uh, read the paper and see, maybe this is to put in something. Uh, it's a lemon myrtle herb bag. I'm, I'm not sure if it's tea. But I'll check that out, and whenever I do f future keto crates and I'm talking about the products I've eaten, I'll let you know what that was all about. Oh, graze sticks. I love beef sticks or pork sticks or whatever. They're so easy to eat and carry with you and then have a nice snack. Um, these are both original. They put two in there. Uh, it's grass-fed beef. That is great. I love grass-fed beef. Cows are not meant to eat grain. Um, it messes up their system. You might have seen that movie, uh, Food Inc. And they have a cow that's eating, eating gra grains and 
they can reach into its stomach like it does bad things to the stomach it encourages the growth of E. coli if you watch that movie it explains it better than I'm explaining it but grass-fed beef is the way to go and these look really good okay there's one more item in here They put lots of mixes in here too. You might remember from one of my last keto crates, there was a chocolate chip cookie mix. Um, they actually have a grain free hamburger bun mix. So you can take this and make the hamburger buns. I'll have to make that and let you guys know how it goes, but that is really cool. It makes a bun with five total carbohydrates. You take the fiber away from that. It leaves you with two net carbs per two tablespoon of dry mix. So if that makes one bun, you know, you're getting two or four grams of carbs per bun. Um, but yeah, it just looks like you mix it together and you use an ice cream scoop to portion out 10 scoops of dough. So um, that will make you five buns and I bet you could freeze them too. But yeah, I'll definitely let you know how this is. It's almond flour, which I use instead of regular flour all the time. It's great, you can use it cup for cup. Um, organic coconut flour, psyllium husk, I use that a lot in baking and pizza crust too. Dehydrated sweet potato, that's interesting. Baking soda, sea salt. Um, so those are all really great ingredients and it's a good way to be grain free. I can't wait to try this. We'll have to get some grass fed burgers. Okay, excuse me for just one second. I'm gonna go get my keto crate box and we'll talk about some of the stuff that I had in past cr crates and I'll let you know how it tasted and whether I liked it. Be right back. Okay, so I'll try to keep all my wrappers so that I can remember. Um, this I actually had today at work for a snack. It's Skinny Salamis. And the brand name is Artisanal. These were two original Caspa pork. Um, and this is on here. Pork raised with out antibiotics, gluten and nut free. These were really, really good. It was two little mini salami sticks. A good flavor um, and hard like salami like these were awesome if you're looking for a good snack I recommend this for sure oh this was one of my favorite things from any of my boxes this was a raw rev glow um, it was a peanut peanut butter bar it was so good this is one of the things I enjoyed the most. Um, whenever I order future snacks, this is definitely gonna be one of them. I really liked it. The bar was a nice consistency. It didn't have any kind of fake sweet taste or anything like that. Um, a really nice peanut butter taste and it had some sea salt on it and it kept me satisfied for a long time. I would definitely recommend that. I'll just do a few more things. Um, this, I think, was for my last Keto Crate. These were the Artesian Peanuts Sea Salt and Cracked Pepper. Um, I expected them to kind of be something different, but it's pretty much just peanuts. Um, nothing too exciting, but they were good. I mean, they were really good, and it was a great snack. Um, they just didn't have a different taste, kind of like I was expecting. Um, I also had a Keto Cookie um, Peanut peanut butter cookie. I think I told you guys whenever they did their Kickstarter I got the birthday cake flavor. They were a little too almondy for me but the peanut butter ones, if you like peanut butter, it's got a great peanut butter flavor and I thought they were a lot better um, than the birthday cake. That's just personal preference but this was a very good product. Uh, this was a product that I didn't care for as much. It tasted okay um, but the flavor just wasn't there for me. Somebody else might like it. It's a great idea and I would eat it again because it's a good snack and it's healthy. Um, it's just, it wasn't my favorite taste. It was a free range chicken bar, like it was a chicken meat bar. Um, and like I said, it didn't taste bad, but it didn't taste great. 
but I still would eat it because it was healthy and it kept me satisfied. Okay, I'll do two more here. I think I might have talked about everything else that was in here. Um, let's see, I'll just do the ones that I know I haven't done and that way I won't do anything over again. Um, I had some pork rinds. These were sea salt and cracked black pepper. I do like pork rinds. I've had the plain ones before and these tasted a lot better. This will be something I would definitely buy on a regular basis. They keep you satisfied again um, and it tasted really good. And the brand name on that was um, Southern Recipe. I think that that's it. Southern Recipe Small Batch right there. But yeah, they were very good. Um, pork rinds are much better when they have some flavor to them. Um, there was a chocolate bar in there um, from Coco Polo. It had elderberry in it. Now me, I don't think that fruit and chocolate go together very well, um, but this actually tasted okay. It was one of the mixes of chocolate and fruit that I didn't mind too much. Uh, chocolate orange I definitely couldn't do, but that was that was pretty good and the chocolate part was was really good um, and I'm sure that the elderberries are really good for you uh, so yeah that was it wasn't my favorite thing but for people who like the berries and the chocolate together you'll probably love that um, some biotics there were some sprouted lemon teriyaki um, pumpkin seeds and if it, anything sprouted it's gonna give you that great probiotics these were really good I didn't know how lemon and teriyaki would go together so well. I was a little doubtful, but it was really good. And I love pumpkin seeds. They're a good source of protein. Um, so don't be scared by the lemon and teriyaki together. And those probiotics are going to be good for your gut. Again, everything gluten-free, everything in the keto crate, gluten-free. That's awesome. Um, and low carb. So it's going to help you keep your blood sugar levels down, which will help you burn fat. Um, and then the last thing was a Rome stick. I love these Rome sticks. They're really good. This was hickory smoked pork with uncured bacon. I'll show you what the package looks like. This was really good, but the meat sticks are probably some of my favorite things. If you like meat sticks, get some Rome sticks. Really, really good. Okay, so that's June's Keto Crate. Um, anything happening crazy this month? It is my birth month. So for my birthday, I'm actually going to um, Sandusky, Ohio to go to Cedar Point. I'm so excited. I wish you all were going with me. Um, still working on the Mora book, the next Mora book. I'm almost finished with chapter seven. Um, I had to scrap it because it wasn't going in a, in a direction that I really liked. Um, so I know I'm wait making you guys wait a little bit longer, but it'll be worth it. Oh, and also I just found out that 12 Terrors of Christmas, um, that took finalist in the anthology category for the Next Generation Indie Book, Book Awards. And let me tell you, those awards are very hard to place in. Um, they just, they're very, very strict. Um, it's industry professionals. They're very strict on their judging. Um, I entered my Mora books none of them placed and so I was overjoyed to have um, 12 Terrors of Christmas which Lynn Lamb, Lynn Lamb contributed a story to place as a finalist in the anthology category. Um, we're kind of celebrating that by putting 12 Terrors of Christmas on for 99 cents in every retailer throughout July from July 1st to the to the end of July. Um, we're doing Christmas in July. So look for that to happen. If you haven't picked up 12 Terrors, you can get a really good deal on it. It's an award-winning book. Why not, right? Scare yourself a little and, and dream of the snow while you're sweating on your couch. Um, but that's all for me this time. Maybe next time we'll visit with another one of the bunnies. Um, but thanks for tuning in and uh, go check out the Keto Crate, ketocrate.com. Eat healthy, stay healthy, live better. Bye, guys.